as you travel around the world, you should have specific information. And in this case... Well, Ryan Casper is one of our senior social studies members. He's been in the, the reserves, of course, since, since we hired him. And he's come and gone a couple times for us. The first time he went to Iraq, and I think really just saw a need. We'll go look uh, into their classes, see what their classrooms look like. He contacted me and his brother and a number of other people here. And I heard that he started the Hearts and Minds Club. So he organized supplies, uh, games, frisbees, toiletries. The supplies came from community members, from people donating from all different areas. My grandson set up a website and it snowballed, ended up with 15 different states contributing to school supplies. We also had all sorts of people from the community that uh, donated money for the shipping costs. And people would send stuff and drop stuff off and we would, we would use the whole cafeteria and bag and box things and separate stuff. Pens and pencils, crayons, markers, pencil bags and boxes and all that stuff and it was really cool because there was so much to separate. It was meaningful for everybody who was involved and I think the students here, you know, they don't maybe expect that um, there are people that don't have a notebook to write in or that they go to school, you know, and have to write their letters on the ground. He brought back pictures uh, of uh, when they handed out the uh, materials to these kids and they were just normal everyday kids. They were excited to get uh, uh, pencils and paper. And One of the nice things for my students is for them to see something that they put together and then Ryan would send pictures back of him delivering the product and and I would say to my students, that's the backpack that you guys packed. They feel very, very important. Um, a lot of times they're the ones that people are volunteering to assist. What Ryan ended up doing was changing the hearts and minds of the American children here too. That's the impact that Ryan's had is that it's, it's got a lot of our students thinking about what can I do to impact my community or, or, or my world. When I saw the pictures of the kids' faces, it was just amazing because you know that what you did made a big difference. There was a picture that was sent back, and it was a little girl, and she was carrying this little doll. And for me as a parent, that was something that was very moving. I look at Ryan being in the military, and that, that's risky enough. But then for him to go on his time off to go deliver these school supplies and toys to these kids speaks a lot about Ryan and his character and his love for kids, his love for his country, trying to change the world. I mean, that's what he was doing over there. We're incredibly proud of all of our members, but when we get shining examples like Ryan, um, it really is a tribute to the entire profession. What he started here, I have no idea all the places it's gonna go and all the things that the kids that he's impacted here in Iraq and Afghanistan, all the things that they could end up doing because of this. And that, that's my definition of a hero.